Ah, uh, welcome to Brooklyn. Got out of my mother's basement to do this report. <laughs> Damn, would I love to still be living in my mother's basement? Fucking growing up sucks. So, I'm down here in the East Coast. Uh, this is where I live in Brooklyn, but... Uh, I come over here once in a while, it reminds me of childhood. I grew up on, uh, grew up over the other side of that bridge in Staten Island. It's Brooklyn over here, right? So, but um, when I was a kid, the story comes to mind. I used to, you're gonna love this story, man. I used to, um, my grandfather and I, my, we would go crabbing, we would catch crabs, right? Right off the coast of Staten Island. Get up at five o'clock in the morning. Ah, oh, beautiful, right? It's your grandmother, your grandmother in the kitchen, making you sandwiches for the long day of fishing. Now I don't fish anymore because I'm a vegan, and I, you know. But that's history, you know, the history of childhood. You know, it's I don't want to, I don't want to. I mean, yeah, the crabs. We ate the crabs, but but the memories, right? So that's what I'm talking about. The memory, remember the memories of. Oh, you go, you get in the car. My grandfather, he had this old Volkswagen, a real one, right? In the 60s. Not in the 60s. <laughs> it's he had a Volkswagen from the 60s, this old bug. And we put the crab pots in the, in the, in the you know, in the, the trunk is in the front, you remember? Load up the car with the sandwiches, grandma's sandwiches. It's still dark out, right? Go catch the crabs. My grandmother working like a horse in the kitchen trying to get us out the door. Wake everybody up, make the beds. So, is that when America was great? I don't know, man. The memories are pretty great, right? And then we go out, we go out on the pier, we catch the crabs. Fucking throwing in the, throwing the pots in there, crabs. Me and Grandpa on the, on the, on the jetty. I uh, catch a couple of crabs, big crabs, big blue blue claw for the sauce. The Italians, they love that shit. Seafood. Right. And we eat the crabs, and that's you know, and and that is that the end of the story. Like, see, for me, for me, that story is about is about growing up and crabs. And. My grandmother never ate a crab. She would support the whole thing and make them and she never I never saw her eat a crab. She hated fucking crabs. So what was it about for her? For her it was about it was about me. Right? It was about the kid and the and the grandpa. That's what the story was about, right? She wanted me to learn from the grandpa, right? To be around the grandpa and learn about this, you know, what it's like to grow up or whatever the, whatever the lesson was. Selfless, that was my grandmother, you know? It was a lesson, she taught me a lesson in, you know, family, friends. Yeah. So what am I talking about? What does that have to do with this story, right? Because it's it comes from the heart, and that's what I want to talk about. So here we go, Mr. Artell. Right? Mr. Charles Artell. Who are you? I know who you are. Now, there's a whole community out there, if you're watching this for the first time. There's a community out there, uh, a guy named Charles Hotel, who has been who has been attacking and and pursuing vigorously the Clinton Foundation. Has done rather impressive work in exposing the Clinton Foundation for what it is, right? A fake, a fraud, philanthropy fraud. You know, we all know that, right? But Charles Hotel has taken it to a new level. Oh, he's gonna he's closing in on, on Hillary Clinton. He's gonna get her. He's closing in on Hillary Clinton. Right? With Jason Jason Bottom closing in on Hillary Clinton. Huh? 
guys are crazy, right? They're closing in soon. Oh, they're going to lock her up. Okay, so Hillary Clinton is a bad, evil witch, right? Is that a stretch to say that? <laughs> oh, no, no, that's, that's accurate. We all agree on that. There's no doubt about it. But what you're trying to do, right? I, I want to make a, 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 a disclaimer first before I go into it because, see, I'm not about... I'm not about audience, really. I'm about the truth, right? I'd rather have, rather than 20,000 people cheering on, saying my name, I'd rather have 300 strong, right? Like the movie, 300. Remember 300? Ah, oh, fucking King of Sparta, 300. Spartans, what is your occupation? Ha, ha, ha. Right, remember that scene? Love that scene. Arcadian, what is your occupation? Oh, I'm a potter. Right. Warriors. That's what I'm talking about. This is what I do. But Mr. Ortel, right? False philanthropy, the Clintons. We have to we have to steer the boat around. We have to turn the boat around, Mr. Mr. Ortel. Because we're hurting the country now by running the same old shit over and over again. 400 hours with, with Jason Bottom and, and Alcohol George. The Alcohol George and Jason Bottom show, yeah. Right? We have to turn the boat around and put it on the right, in the right focus. Because what you're becoming is a, is a caricature, a limited hangout, right? You're just, you're just you're corralling people into this into this place for your own sake. Selling books, what are you selling your book? Oh, I got a book, I got a book. Jason Bottom, he's got another, another hundred idiots listening to him, oh, you fucking all your people, Woo! How much money do you give Jason to do your show? How much money are you giving Jason to, 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 to suck your dick like that on, on camera? He likes that, that's what he does. That, but I want to get away from the inside, the, in, the inside jokes because it's a big picture. Because it's Hillary Clinton's head on the block. Right? Ugh, fucking Hillary Clinton. You say a name and it, ugh, half the country goes, ah. Ugh, fucking Hillary Clinton. Oh, I'm not saying Hillary Clinton. <laughs> but look, here's the, here's, the, here's the point. Here's the point of the whole thing, right? Hillary Clinton, you, you guys have spent... Two years trying to prove philanthropy, philanthropy fraud, uh, false foundation fraud, right? Is it? Yeah, absolutely. And 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 tax evasion and you know money laundering. It's all those things. We but here's the deal, right? That's minor. What you're trying to prove is minor compared to what we already know about the Clintons, which is. Roll it back to 2016. It's, it's um, you know, it's mishandling of classified, you know, special access program intelligence as Secretary of State. It's money laundering, quid pro quo at the highest levels of government. Taking money, quid pro quo, from hostile, you know, nations like Saudi Arabia and the rest of them, right? It's treason what she did. By definition, it's treason. She took money from hostile nations and gave them a favor out the back door, as secretary, with the president of the United, uh, former president of the United States throwing cover. Right? But you think that, and then you heard the FBI, the FBI proved said it on television James Comey roll the tape right? said it it is exactly what we said it is she did all the things but there will be no consequence right for the highest crimes in the country but you think you're closing in and you're gonna lock Hillary Clinton up for something far less tax evasion uh, I mean how much more can you smear her name Here's the point, right? The point is that you must understand that these people are protected. That there's not, there's not, you're not going to see 
a Trump impeachment or his kids get jailed or Hillary Clinton locked up or Bill Clinton in cuffs, you're not going to see it. You're not going to see it because there's not a single banker, you remember in, in, in 07? That's what I'm going to talk about, Charles. It's coming, man. Stand fucking by because it's coming. Right? Because that's really what we're talking about. Here you are distracting the crowd because who are you? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell everybody who you are. Na 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 na. I'm going to tell you everybody who you are. Right? So you're Mr. Mergers and Acquisitions. First of all, you're you're a Wall Street analyst. You're you're what's commonly known on the street as a schmuck, an idiot, a, a, a paper shuffler, oh, running down the fucking hallway with a paper. Oh, here's my my assessment, my anal- analyst. I'm a fucking analyst. You're a, you're 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 a, you're a Wall Street cocksucker, right? You're a slave. You're a gopher. That's your background. You're you're a Wall Street gopher. You don't control shit because you're in the you you think you're in the know. You've never even been on a trading floor. The trading trading people see you come and you, they, the door's locked. You don't even get in. And how do I know that? Because I've been a trader and I know guys like you are jerk offs. Right? You, you you make your fucking fifty hundred grand a year. Traders are making millions. You're you're a, you're a schmuck, right? And people need to know who you are, and where this information is coming from. So, you did 1991, 92 to 2002. You worked for somebody called Dylan Reed. All right. So what? You're you're a, you're an analyst. You looked at the at at spreadsheets and and numbers, and you're calling that. And 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 you you know and you hand those off to the traders and. And then the, this is, you're part of a propaganda machine when you're an analyst on Wall Street. And you know that. And that's probably why you're not there anymore. You, nobody listens to your report. Because most of the time they're giving you, they're giving, they want the report so that they can take the other side of the trade. They're, they're creating fluff reports and selling into the buying. You idiot. You know that. Right? So, so don't. I'm diffusing you because you're not a fucking expert on anything Wall Street. And you also said, you also said that workers are paid too much in America. You're on the record as saying that before 2007 crash. You're also on the record saying that there are too many old people in America that are weighing on the economy, that the U.S. has too much debt. First of all, debt is fictitious, but I don't want to talk about that. But you bash, you're bashing workers. Why? Because you're a, you're a Wall Street cocksucker loser, right? And, 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 and also, personally, you're, not, you're, no, you're nothing special. You're some, you're some guy who lives in a fucking West Village. You think you're so unique and so impressive? You're not at all. You're just some, you're just some run-of-the-mill jerk-off that probably made some money in 2006, 7. Sitting, he bought his condo cheap. He used to live in a condo, trying to write a book, selling yourself as some sort of expert on all things Clinton. Why am I attacking you? Because, because you're, you're right now. People like you, Chank Uger, right? These guys, you know, all, all is so fucking. Even Alex Jones, to some degree. You guys are all get your heads out your asses and stop playing this left-right bullshit. That's what I'm trying to get to. That's what. So you're Mr. Merger Acquisition 2002, and now you're on, you're on the record. I read your bio, so you're so your claim to fame's are. You saw the fragility of AIG, General Motors, and Caterpillar in 2007. <laughs> that is the first of all. Anybody with a pulse on Wall Street knew that AIG, J.P. Morgan, City. Wells Fargo, you remember Lehman Brothers? And fucking everybody had that shit. Credit default swaps. Everybody had it. Everybody knew what was going on. The REITs and everything, all this shit piled on top of fake fucking real estate numbers. We all knew the bubble. We saw, Everybody saw it. You're not unique in seeing that. You had kids out in the street who occupy Wall Street. Everybody knows that bullshit. You're not a fucking expert on AIG or any of that stuff, right? Oh, he went to Yale. Oh, big Yale. Woo, fucking Yale. Harvard. Oh, Harvard, Yale. No, what you are is you're, you're, you're a deadbeat from the West Village. 
a, a, a Wall Street loser because they don't use analysts anymore because the whole thing is rigged. They don't need guys like you telling them what to do. They don't even need guys like you manipulating the float anymore because they control both sides of the float. So you're useless, and that's why you're out. Maybe you made some money. You don't seem to be a working guy. You, you know, you go around. You, anybody who give you a platform, you, you know, you fucking suck their dick, give them a couple of dollars. Right? So guys like you, Charles, is what we need. We need... We need people to stop lying to people and corralling them behind false hope. 500 hours of hate on Hillary is not helping. You never talk about the banks, the corruption in the banks, right? Ah, oh, fucking, I never heard you say Goldman Sachs, Lloyd Blank finds a money grab or a Jamie Dimon or J.P. Morgan. No, you suck their dick. Because why? Because you got your money in their fucking accounts. Uh, you know what? You want the markets to keep going up. You're globalist. You oh no no no! The economy's good. The economy's good. No no. One in seven people on food stamps. What are you talking about? I don't see it. Fucking look out the window. Look how good we're living. Look at me and Jason. We're fucking living large. Eighty percent of the country on uh, work a paycheck to paycheck, slaving it just to stay alive. Ooh, I don't fucking see it. What are you talking about? I'm an analyst. 60% of the country doesn't have $400 to their name. What the fuck are you talking about, Conti? This, this guy's a fucking socialist. He's a socialist. I got plenty of money in the bank. I don't know what you're talking about. Since guys like you, we have to stop. Get out of the, get out of the way. All right? Me, I'm just a guy with a joystick, right? I'm an idiot. I don't know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, so that's what I'm talking about today. Right? That's what I'm talking about. When I'm in this spot, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so let's keep following these cases. Let's start. Let's stay in the truth. Let's come together and stay in the truth. Because that's really what it's about. Right? All this division, all this, everybody all over the place. You know, clickbait. Watch my show. That's, that's, that's trivial. That's, that's amateur. Because that's not what this is about. This is about 300 strong. This is about Sparta. This is Sparta! My name is Marcus Conti Report.